One thing I do want to talk about, though, is that, um, well, when I first played Ocarina of Time, I thought it was really, uh, like, I was expecting the Temple of Time to be a dungeon, but then when I figured out it wasn't, I was kind of disappointed. But, and then this, I really loved the fact that they actually had a dungeon called the Temple of Time, so I thought that was cool. So I'm like, oh yeah, now we're dancing in the Temple of Time. You push a counterclockwise to go up, right? Please be right. It just seems right. Yes, it is. I don't know why it seems right, it just does. No explanation for it. Uh. Yeah, you can't do the camera there, I don't know why. And we can still get hit by those things again, one more time, because we've only gotten hit by them four times. Uh, clockwise, which is this way. Yeah, so this is actually the fifth floor right here, and then we'll make you go down to the third floor, so... Yeah, I guess this is, like, really just, you know, finishing up, but... Yeah, this item's pretty cool. Though I will say one thing I don't like about this item, is that I think they could have been a little more creative about it. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. It can, um, damage you. Uh, well, the, the thing, I, thing I was gonna say is it has to do with, it has to do with the boss. But, um, but, yeah, we'll talk about that when we actually get there. Like, you're probably expecting to be able to use this guy to help you take down the boss. Well, he might be able to one. But, yeah, he's gonna, see, look at that, he hurts you. He hurts you more than most of the enemies do, I'll say that. Well, if you're using him to kill everything. He would, because the enemies aren't going to stand a chance. Unless you want to go all the way back up to the fourth floor and then all the way down and kill all these guys. So this is really the main use of that. It really wasn't that useful when we first did it, but it's useful now. Yeah, I use my arrows, because it's better than the claw shot. And I realize there are more right there. Too lazy to pick them up. Anyways, let's stop doing that. This. It's not like we gotta play a song. Let's take care of this guy because I want to. Whoa! Forgot about that. Uh, this is something where we're gonna need to get him, but I not quite yet. Although, actually, you know, yeah, I will. Uh, actually, no, no, I won't because there are two ways to get to this pub. One is to crush the door down, and the other one is to control these guys to step on the switch. Which one sounds more exciting to you? That's what I thought. And uh, this guy is going to help me trap the bow. And I'm having a feeling that that will actually cause more problems and it will help me. Do it. Nope. Because he's got nowhere to attack either. Um, I think what's hurting me most is the bug. Although I don't really... He's, he's gone. That is number 53, I believe. 53? Uh-huh. Sense, sense, sense. That's that button. Okay. Are you ready to be my attack and defense? Oh, no. Don't face me. Okay, good. Yeah, if you're standing behind it like this, it's, it's, it's only dangerous if you walk the other way. And now we send it down there, so everything else is pretty much, you know, an afterthought. Because the first three rooms weren't that hard going up, and they're certainly not that hard coming down. I almost missed something. But I didn't. Okay, I was just about to move on, I'm like, wait, is there something I'm forgetting? And, oh yeah, there is. Uh-huh. Now, luckily, for some reason, like, maybe it just has to do with the Dominion Rod thing, but, you know, that's already open, but the thing's not down there, so no problem, we get to use our spinner again. That ball and chain has been on there for the whole time, I think I actually did replace the spinner with that, even though I said I wasn't gonna, ooh, and the spinner was just about to run out, and we did that. Still think the spinner's cool, still very disappointed, didn't get into Scattered Sword, although, yes, like I said, Scattered Sword has a bunch of new cool items. Yeah, Skyward Sword, you get your own other little assistant that you get to control throughout the entire game. 
and I love that. That had better make CJ a zero ones list. It had better. But like I said, I'm not gonna control other people's opinions. Uh -huh. So yeah, once again, we're gonna need these two things um, to go over here, and once again, we're gonna have to do this. Oh man, we're gonna have to lug more stuff around. Should have done. This should have been the first thing I did once I got the mint. Once I got the big statue, because it would have made it easier. Because it would have acted as a switch. Instead, I have to go all the way back down to there. And I actually did get hit by that again, so that's number five, right? I might have even got hit twice, but... Well, no matter how many times I got hit by it, let's just say our goal now is don't get hit again. Yeah, I think I actually got hit more on this room than I did in the other room, which are really the only two places that's dangerous. You could carry a pot up here, but I highly recommend you don't do that since you have to go more out of your way, and if you get hit once by one of a... Those things, I think the pot will break. Of course, if you're looking for a challenge, why not? Oh, okay. That's right, we gotta stand on here. You actually can put it down and then run to it, since, you know, you know, maybe that's why they react to so you can do stuff like that. Who knows? Now, yeah, there are actually two things in here, and, yeah, I think we already got the one that we could get. Yeah, this, this right here, this is the one that I didn't get before, even though I could have. It's just 20 rubies, and I knew I was going to be coming back here, so that's probably the reason I didn't really. Yeah, so this is actually another cool puzzle. Uh, use this, hit a switch, not gonna worry about those, since those are all the things we have to kill just to get the, the key. Uh, exit out, those guys are pushing me around. Blink is not a pushover. Um, but yes, there was already one over there, but you will see that, that it's not the case with the other side. So now you're gonna have to use both of the things you can do with these statues. Pick them up and throw them, and control them with your Dominion Rod. You could technically control it up with your Dominion Black, and I don't think you could because it's the stairs. Um, throw it up here, make sure not to stand too close. Don't be, don't do what I just did. Don't do what I just did again. Yeah, you can do that. I wasn't thinking. Yeah, stand on that. Uh, use this. I recommend not standing too far in front of it because then you might enter, you know, dangerous territory like this. But we're good. I think that once their treasure chest appears, it doesn't go away. I think that's the thing in this game. Like, once it... Because I've never actually seen a treasure chest disappear. Yeah, so it's not like, uh... There's something up there. It's not like doors opening and closing. Once a treasure chest appears, it doesn't go away. So, yes, yeah, so we get the heart piece, and now the rest of the dungeon should be a piece of cake. Still got the boss, but like I said, the rest of this dungeon should be a piece of cake. How many hints can you get? Man, I bet y'all would love to see me fail against the boss now. Yeah, it's gonna take five videos. It's gonna take over an hour. I'm, I'm getting tired, but I do want to finish this. Now, you see, there's actually a cross out target right there, which I could have done that um, before, but the real reason for the cross out target is right here because. You might have wondered why that's there, but yes, they're going to have to be coming back here, and, uh, I still need a name for him, so I'll call him Hammer Time, because he's in the Temple of Time, and he has a hammer, so I'll call him Hammer Time. There we go. Um... So we want to get him down here? No, because there's another bell. That's what the new would do. But what I do, because I'm not a new, maybe he does have to go down there. That's where he came out, right? Yeah. Wait a minute. Okay. Yeah, because this is actually a two-part room. I can only see the part on the third floor. Never mind, those who went down here are not new, because they're smart, and I'm the new. Even though I've beaten this game, and I know it better than uh-huh. So... 
I'm a completionist, even though there actually was the other thing up there that I didn't destroy, but who cares? We did that. And now, it, if I go through here, I'm never going to be able to destroy that other one again. Don't worry. I think that right there is proof that I'm not an OCD. Because I, I honestly think that someone that was OCD wouldn't be able to do that. Maybe. I really don't know too much about OCD, but... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that someone that was OCD would have to go back and hit that other fence once they realized that they hadn't hit it yet. And realize that they would, after you do this, you're never going to be able to go back and break that one again. Hmm. Yeah, like, for some reason, just because the fancy design in this door, I think it's like a boss door, but... Hmm. Anyway, I think we've 100%ed the treasure chest part of the dungeon, which I didn't even send off for the celebration at all. Yeah. All the optional treasure chests in this dungeon, other than the heart pieces, they're not very hard to get at all. So, it's not really that hard. Like, in the last dungeon, you had some ones that were, like, buried in the snow. And before, you had some ones that were, like, in hidden locations. But this one, not really as much. Uh, you get some skulls here. So, yeah. That's the last we're ever going to be seeing of that guy. So sad. So... Oh, man, I didn't see it. I didn't see it coming. You can actually hold your shield out, I think, and block it, but I'm not too sure about that. Yes, you can. You'll still take the knockback, but not the damage. I'm guessing that you want to be controlling these. Uh, yeah, this room is actually not easy. So when I said the rest of this temple was a pushover, I was forgetting about this room. Like, I remembered it was here, but I forgot how, like, annoying it could be. Especially this, since it's always coming at the wrong time. Yep. Jeez, stop coming at the wrong times. Like Link. No, 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 I didn't say that. Uh, anyway. Okay. Jeez. This is atrocious. I've really been liking that word, atrocious. Yeah, you don't actually need this. You can throw it from there, too, but... I'm using this. Um... No, we want the claw shot because it's easier to do it like this. Even though I think you're supposed to. Yeah, the claw shot doesn't make you invincible. What are you thinking? Now you have to do the entire room over again, basically. Hopefully the guys that are there stay killed. Do they? Well, I mean, I only killed one of them. Yeah, thank you. That's what you get for trying to be fancy. Uh -huh. So what you want to do here, I think, which I'm probably not remembering too well, but you want to go back here and get it close, but not quite touching it. Never mind. Yes, you want to actually get this on, first of all. And then get right here, where you're behind the gate, or where the gate was, and will be again, but not quite touching it, and it just fell in the pit. And once it, once you do get too far away, I don't actually think it can fall in the pit. I don't really know. Just, I mean, what would happen if you throw it in there? Of course it can fall in the pit. Yeah, but once you do get too far away from it, it'll automatically go off. I think there might be a fairy in here, but I don't know. I'll get one, even though I got items. You know, I might as well just... Yeah. I should not be needing anything on this boss, which I will fight next. Bye.